Hello folks, so today I want to talk about not just positive, not just negative numbers, but how do you combine these two? How do you add positive and negative numbers? That's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, it can be really confusing, can be really tricky, but I'll get you right through it. Let's do it. So let's say I have some numbers. Let's start easy. Uh, let's say I have three plus four. What would three plus four be? Well, let me just spell that out for you. We got three apples. We got four more. You add them all up. What do you get? You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, let me change up the story a little bit. Instead of three plus four, well, I think you know what I'm going to say next, right? What about three minus four, right? Let me paste this over here. Instead of plus, I'm going to erase this plus, make it into a minus. So what if we had three minus four? What would that give us? Well, three minus four, the first thing you think is, hey, well, four is bigger than three. I can't do this. Well, when you grow up, you actually find out that you can have a negative amount of money. A negative amount of money means you have to give money to someone else, right? You don't have money. You have to give money. It's called debt. So negative money is a thing. So that's why you got to know negative numbers if you want to, you know, be rich one day. So what's three minus four? I know it can't be a positive number. Four is bigger than three, right? So let's use the number line to help us out. Let's use the number line. Uh -huh. Number line, number line, number line. Here's our number line, okay? And let me put up the numbers, zero, one, two, three, four. We can keep going. Uh, let me go backwards this time. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. So where are we gonna start on our number line? Here's where we start. This is our starting place three. Okay, I start there. Now I'm going to hop four steps back, right? So I'm going to hop one, two, three, four up. Oh, I'm done. I hop four steps. Where am I? I'm at minus one. So three minus four is minus one. Now you have to think about this. Does this make any sense? Well, it makes a little sense, right? Because if I did think about this, instead of three minus four, what if I did three minus three? Well, that's just zero, right? So instead of taking three hops back, if I took one more hop back, if, if I took one more hop back, I'd be in a one less position, minus one. You get that? Well, let's try another one, okay? Uh, let's try eight minus three, okay? 8 minus 3. What is 8 minus 3? Well, now let me spell that out for you. We got 8 apples. Whoa, those are some big apples. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so we have 8 apples, right? And we're going to take away, we're going to take away 3 of them. So 1 gone, 2 gone, 3 gone. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 apples left. So 8 minus 3 is 5. Now here's something weird, right? Here's something weird, get ready for this. I'm gonna take the same thing, eight minus three. Okay, copy all of this. And I'm gonna put it right here. So I got eight minus three. Now what I'm gonna do is instead of eight minus three, I wanna do three minus eight. I just wanna see what I'll get. Okay, well, let's try this, three minus eight. Let's see what we'll get, okay? So how do we do three minus eight? Well, let's go back to our number line. Yeah, so let's draw a number line, big number line. And we got zero in the middle. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, you can keep going. Now let's go backwards. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Oh, let me draw that nicely. Minus four, minus five, minus six. Where do I start? I start at three, right? That's my start. So if I start at three, this is three. How many hops back do I go? I go eight hops back. So let's do that. One hop, two hop, three hop, four hop, five hop, six hop, seven hop, eight hop, I hop. Okay, so where do we end up? We end up at negative five. 
So that means three minus eight is negative five. Do you see something? Eight minus three was five. Three minus eight is minus five. See, all I did, all I had to do was just add this minus sign. Isn't that cool? I think that's cool. Why is that the case? Well, if we extend our number line just a bit, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I actually don't know why this is the, this is the case. Maybe it's a coincidence, but usually in math, we don't have coincidences. Uh, so we have seven, we have eight, blah, blah, blah. So let's do eight minus three on the number line. I'm gonna start at eight over here, and I'm gonna take three steps back. One, two, three and I end up at five. So eight minus three is five. And three minus eight is minus five. Isn't that cool? Let's do another addition minus subtraction. How about nine minus 10? Can you try that without drawing a number line? Let's, let's try to do this. How do we do this without doing a number line? Well, let's do nine minus nine. What's nine minus nine? That's gonna be zero, right? Anything subtracted from itself is zero. Why? Well, let me show you. If I have nine things, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I take away nine of them, one gone, two gone, three gone, four gone, five gone, six gone, seven gone, eight gone, nine gone. If I have nine things but take away nine of them, I'll have zero left. So nine minus nine is zero. Or another way I can think of it is, I start at nine and then I take nine hops back, I'm gonna be at zero. I start at nine, I take nine steps back and then I take one more step. So I take 10 steps back. So I'll be one step behind zero. And what's that? That's minus one. See, that's pretty cool. Now let's do some, some more. Uh, subtraction with negative numbers. Let's do, uh, I'm trying to think, let's do something weird, something we haven't done already. Let's do minus three minus five. And now you're saying, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't do this. I can't do this, you say, let's try it. What you can do is you can draw a number line. See, number line is your best friend sometimes. Um, now, a lot of the times you'll see people drawing the zero in the middle but you don't have to. You can draw the zero over here. So you have some space for the minus numbers. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine. So where do I start? I start at minus three. So let me start over here. How many hops back do I take? I take five steps back. How do I know back? because this is minus, right? Minus means back. So let's start hopping back. All right, I got one hop back, two hop back, three hops back, four hops back, five hops back. Where do I land? I land at minus eight. Ain't that cool? Minus eight. Do you see something? Well, check it out. Instead of doing minus three minus five, let me grab all of this copy that, let me paste it here. What if I did three plus five, right? Plus three plus five or just three plus five? What's three plus five guys? Well, uh, let's draw some apples. I got three apples here, one, two, three, okay. And I'm gonna add five more. So let's add five more, one, two, three, four, five. How many apples do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight apples. Do you see something? Well, minus three minus five is minus eight, plus three plus five is plus eight. I think that's pretty cool. So here's some tips for you to remember in the future. When you're doing a minus number, I don't know, minus jibble, uh, minus uh, jabble, when you're doing a minus and a minus, that you're gonna have a minus number in the end. Okay, so maybe I'm doing, I don't know, Let's put some numbers here. Uh, maybe I'm doing minus five and minus, I don't know, two. Oh, wow, that blends in too much. Minus five and minus two. Well, 
if you don't know what the answer is going to be, you can draw a number line or you can think, hey, what's five plus two? Five plus two is just seven. So my answer has to be minus seven. Pretty nice, right? Here's another trick. When you have, uh, let's say you have uh, some plus number and then you have a minus number. If your minus number is bigger than your plus number, your answer will be a minus, right? So for example, if you have eight minus 13, right? Well, is the answer gonna be plus or minus? It's gonna be minus because you're taking away the bigger number. You're taking uh, 13 hops back, even though you started at eight, right? So eight minus 13, how can you do this? Well, you can draw a number line. Another way you can do this is draw the, write the bigger number. I mean, write the minus number, 13, write the plus number here, and then subtract them this way. 13 minus eight, what's that? Well, let's do it. We got 13 things, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we take away eight of them. So one gone, two gone, three gone, four gone, five gone, six gone, seven gone, eight gone. Okay, let me draw that nicely, eight gone. How many do we have left? We got one, two, three, four, five left. So 13 minus eight is five. So eight minus 13, that's just minus five. So you see these cool tricks? Sometimes if you don't know how to do something, try you know, thinking about ways you can do it, right? Remember what you did before. You know how to do subtraction. You know how to do addition. So go back to that. Try to solve what you don't know with what you do know. And if it comes to the worst case scenario, just use the number line. All right, folks, so hopefully that was helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, leave them below and I'll help you out. Thanks for watching.